it's Nicole from Relax Cut Glue and today I'm going to share with you my binder of some ATCs and inchies or twinchies, whatever you want to call them. I guess mine are twinchies because they're two by two art and then artist trading cards are two and a half by three and a half. So this is my current binder and let's get started. So these are my twinchies, they're two by two and I love them. <laughs> I post these on Instagram all the time and share them with everybody. Some more twinchies. Most of these are from magazine photos. This is a Trader Joe's ad. Um, all of these are magazine images, except for some of these are from like kids books. This was a geode that I just added stickles to this fun stuff. I'm obsessed with it. All right, moving on. Some more twinchies. And oops, there's a little hair. And then that's all I have of those right now. And then on to my artist trading cards. This is one that I did you guys, let me get this up here if you can see. I made this using eggshells. Eggshell mosaic. Isn't that cool? Okay, so I have all of these. I love drawing little weird faces and stuff. This is like one of my favorite things to do. I love those. I haven't done that in a while though. This right here is one of my all-time favorite ATCs I ever made. Oh, by the way, all of these are ones that I have made, not ones that I traded. Anybody else a Silence of the Lambs lover? I love Hannibal Lecter. Um, in a weird way. I mean, obviously, he's a serial killer and he eats people, so that's disgusting. Um, all right, moving on. All different ones here. This was a magazine print, magazine, magazine. This was painting I did on some book pages. This is one of those Tim Holtz little people that I I painted her outfit pink. I mean, some of these are really weird, and some of them are great. Um, again, the, this is both of these I made using eggshells. I used to make stuff out of eggshell mosaics all the time. My friend has a farm and she gave me some of her chicken eggs and they were all different colors. So I made her a necklace and instead of painting the eggshells, I left them their natural color because they were blues and browns and creams, all different colors. So I made her a necklace out of those. It was pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of stickles on this page. I was having fun with those. Okay, I love this one. <laughs> I know it's kind of naughty, but he reminded me of like Dick Tracy, and so that's why I also put that. More stickles. This was a piece of a coloring book I ripped out. This was cool. I did this on the corrugated cardboard so it's nice and thick and then I just tore some of it off it left left some of it flat these are not my favorite ones but you know some are great some are not so great That I made this these paper backgrounds using watercolor or um, water-based markers on some plastic, and then I squirted it with water, and then I put the paper on it and made these uh, cool designs. Did that a long years ago. I just got around to using those this year. I made some Valentine ones. 
I got the sticker pack from Dollar Tree, so I made pretty ATCs to go with it so I could use the, the stickers. Obviously, this was a master board of... Oh, this one has... So, this got folded up. This is some Asian writing from... I can't remember what I got, but in the instructions, they had had that there. So I ripped that out and used it. And then these little circles that you put on your paper so that, um, you know, to reinforcers. And some tissue paper and all kinds of stuff. I originally planned to go back and add like a focal image on these, but I haven't done that yet. Uh, these are Trader Joe's images and I found some stickers so I just added some stickers my St. Patrick's Day ones these are you know when you get an Amazon package and it has that brown paper in there that's supposed to add like a cushing you know to make sure your stuff is safe um, I always keep that and I wrinkled it up and then put it on my cardstock to use it as a background This is also Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's. These are all magazines, images that I cut out, and then collaged. Obviously the dog wasn't originally on that burger and these boots weren't on this book and this book wasn't in the ocean. But I added all of those. I love this one. Don't make me fight you, Janet. <laughs> Simmer down, Karen. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen all of these. I love this one. Less talky, more shuddy. <laughs> my favorites, my golden girls. Love my golden girls. And then these are the ones I recently did. The 80s vibe. I just did today, where is it? I think it's under here. I just did another one that I'm gonna do a different project with this morning. And last but not least, this is where I'm at. It was pouring down rain the other day and I was hoping for a rainbow. So I, I made this background paper with my, um, where are they? Oh, I don't even know where they are now. They're here somewhere, but my Mr. Sketch markers and I just did lines across the paper on one big piece and then cut it all up. So I had a bunch. So yeah, this is a glimpse of my book from this year so far, and I hope you enjoyed it and got some inspiration. I know we have a lot of iCads coming up, index card of the month, or in, index card a day. Um, there's quite a few challenges coming up, so I will be doing those. I might do an ATC a day. I'm not exactly sure what I'll do, but I will share it both on my channel and on Instagram. You can follow me there at relax period, cut, period, glue. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Have a great day. Bye.